professionals often with good reason will say to us that if technology is used to deliver service online, for example, somehow the users won't receive the empathy that's central to the delivery of great professional service. One of our quick and slightly cheap responses, of course, is that many technical experts are not remotely empathetic today. But there's a bigger point here, and the structure of this question we want to change slightly. We want to ask the question, to what problem is empathy the solution? Why is it that people feel that empathy is an integral part of the professional service process? Now, sometimes, of course, it is the simple interaction or the complex interaction between human beings and the comfort that that brings. But often what this speaks of is the need for deep reassurance, deep confidence in the honesty and the integrity and the trust of the provider. We find uh, when we talk of tax and tax compliance work and the completion of tax returns, this is quite a good illustration of the point. 48 million people in 2014 in the United States used automated tax technology to submit their tax returns. Very few of them, it turns out, were complaining that there was a lack of empathy in the delivery of the service. In many areas of professional service, it turns out that the work can actually be quite routine in nature. And one of our theses is that we're seeing the decomposition of professional work, the breaking down of large, complex engagements and assignments and projects into more manageable parts. And it turns out that many of these component parts are a little like tax compliance. So we don't dismiss the need for empathy across the professions, but we do reject the idea that all professional service needs this kind of face-to-face, -face, highly personal interactive content.